Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. We're going to get into some NHL action for April 30th, first round of the playoffs. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access here to the VIP club section, which has all these great tools here. You see all these tabs here? These are all tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look. There's three games for the first round. And we're going to take a look at all of them. The Toronto Maple Leafs and the Boston Bruins. Toronto comes in dead stats. You can see just uh, one and five over the last six. And Boston is average. They are three and three over their last six games. If you take a look at the over-under, you see that the teams have been involved in games mostly over the line. In fact, um, six, ten out of the last 12 games have been over. You see that the Toronto Maple Leafs dead status and uh, Boston average status at the moment. Uh, if you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you notice uh, an up and downward trend for both teams. Boston right now is at plus 24, and Toronto is sitting there at plus 18. Um, the score prediction has Boston by a 3-1 to one score. The confidence in the prediction is rather low, though, at only 32%. Head-to-head, uh, -head, you can see that in this series here, there's been the last three games, Boston up 2-1 to one and outscoring. Toronto in the process by, let's see, 7, 11, 11 to uh, 6 in those games. And you can see that some previous matchups this season, a uh, couple wins for Boston. Actually, Boston won some of the other ones earlier in this season. Actually, all the other ones earlier in this season. Um, if we take a look here at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, uh, both teams pretty consistent overall for the season with regard to their favorite underdog status, but you see here that Boston not as uh, consistent lately. Back in January, they were at plus 13. They dipped down to plus 7, and now they're sitting at uh, plus 10. So Boston has been pretty inconsistent over the last few months. Um, as far as um, everything else goes, in the regular season, Boston was fourth in the Eastern Conference with 109 points. Toronto was fifth at 102 points. So uh, pretty good relatively evenly matched teams as far as the regular season records go. But I like Boston here to win this one at home in the game over the line. Okay, we got the Islanders at the Hurricane. Islanders come in ice cold down. You can see the losers of their last three and just two and four over their last six. While Carolina is burning hot and they have uh, won five out of their last six. If you take a look at the over under, the teams have been involved in games over the line in 10 of the last 12. The score prediction has Carolina in a 5-0 blowout. The confidence in the prediction is rather high at 82%. On the power ranks indicator, Carolina at the top, as they have been most of the year, you can see here at 29. And the Islanders on a downward trend over the last week from plus 23 down to uh, plus 14. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams, you can see that Carolina has won the last four by a total score of you know, score uh, 15 to 15 to 9 over the, that period of time um, Carolina was really good at home they were 27 uh, 10 and 4 at home during the regular season New York was mediocre a little bit more than mediocre on the road 18 17 and 6 um, I really like the hurricane to handle business at home uh, by a few goals I think this game's going to go over the line and now we have Nashville and Vancouver. So Nashville was uh, sixth in the Western Conference with 99 points during the regular season. And um, Vancouver was third in the conference with 109 points. Vancouver was really good, 27, 9 and 5 at home. And Nashville was excellent on the road, though, at 24, 14, and 3. See, um, Nashville right now is averaged down with a 3 and 3 mark over the last six. Vancouver is averaged up with a 4 and 2 mark over their last six. Uh, besides the last game, which went under the line, the teams have been involved in games over the line uh, in general. That has been the trend. And the score prediction, though, of 3-2 to two in favor of Nashville is a rather low score. The confidence in the prediction has been varying. It's right now at 63%. On the power ranks indicator, you can see Vancouver pretty much staying pretty steady. And they're at plus 26. Nashville right now is at plus 21, and they were up to plus 24 just a week and a half, almost two weeks ago. If we take a look at 
head to head. Vancouver won the last one two to one. Nashville won the previous one four to one, and then Vancouver won the previous three games before that. So Vancouver has pretty much dominated the series. If we take a look at the stability factor, we see uh, both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to performing according to their favorite underdog status. Vancouver at plus 14 and Nashville at plus 7, and mostly an upward trend, a little bit of downward trends here and there, but mostly an um, upward trend throughout the season in that category. And as far as the way the outcome of this game goes, I think this is going to be a pretty good trend to continue for Vancouver. As I said, they dominated throughout the season. I think this will continue, particularly at home. But I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. So there you have it. Those are the three games in the NHL playoffs for round one for April the 30th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.